Now the basic Tom Bohr sound is produced with the thumb hitting on its side, hitting the strings right in front of the bridge. So you're getting that sound. But depending on how you use the thumb and the angle at which you hit the strings, you can get a variety of sounds. Uh, if I hit on the bridge quite a bit more, you get very little treble string sound and you get a lot of percussive hit, which you may or may not want. depends on the passage of music. On the other hand, if I want to, I can angle my thumb. So now you can see the tip of my thumb is quite far in front of the bridge, but the rear of my thumb is still on the bridge. So if I do that, I get more treble sound, but I still have the tambour in there. The other way, it was almost all tambour and very little treble string also, depending on, you know, chain, vary the uh, distance that you're in front of the bridge. If you want to stay parallel, there's parallel at the bridge. And then as you progressively go this way, you get less tambour and a lot more string sound. Again, it depends on what sound you, you want. That's an interesting sound right there. So they're all useful sounds. It all depends on what you want to produce and what the music calls for.